Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my another video. So in this video, we are going to talk about one important thing which is about ETO COC exam. Those who are in this field, those who are ETOs, they must be aware that after our four months of our pre-C course and eight months of onboard training, we have to clear our COC exam. So in this video, we are, I'm going to talk about all the procedures which required before COC. And I have already made another video in which I have discussed what are the courses to do before we appear for COC. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the assessment procedure. So basically, before our exams are conducted, we have to clear assessment in which all our documents will be verified, whether our training, the four months of pre-C course is valid, our eight months of onboard training, it is done from an approved company. So all these things will be verified. All our, almost more than 20 documents will be verified out at the MMD. So in this video, I'm going to tell you, tell you about the how to apply how to fill the application form because it's a long process. It, al it almost took six hours for me to complete the online application and then another two to three hours for uploading the documents. So since we all are doing it for the first time, you should not make any mistake. So in this video, I'm going to show you the live demonstration of how to fill the application form. And let me tell you very surprisingly that my application got approved within two days. I submitted all my documents on Monday and on Wednesday, it got approved. So I know many of my friends whose application is being delayed for even months and two months. So it also depends upon the how much crowd is there at the MMD. I applied at Kolkata MMD and everything was very super smooth. So you all also must uh, watch these steps. Do not miss any part of the video. Watch till the end. I'm going to tell you the list of all the certificates, all the documents, everything, whatever you have to carry it there. And if you, if you miss any of the documents, if you don't take it there, then you will have a deficiency, you will get a mail that your this document is missing. So again, it will take another another day. So it is important that whatever you do, you for the first time you do it correctly, you don't get any deficiency and do not get any delays because of your mistake. Okay, so the very first thing you need for this is a laptop. Do not try it with a mobile and tablet. I tried with my tablet, I could not succeed. I was not able to go forward. So even with Mozilla Firefox in my tablet, I was not able to fill the application form. So I'm telling you in the beginning, use a laptop, use Mozilla Firefox browser. I'm going to explain this and everything. Whatever doubt I had, you must be having those doubts. Because when I was applying, I called my two to three friends multiple times. I called them to clear my doubt. So they must be getting frustrated because of my calls. I am saving all your times of calling anyone and irritating them. Just watch my video till the end without skipping any part of this. So let's start. Open DG Shipping website where you have to click on e-governance. Once you click on e-governance, you get the option to log in with your user ID and password. So your user ID is your endorse number and password is your endorse number plus one in the end. So after login, you get a page like this where you have to click on the examination. Once you click, you get all the options to update your profile, view and print your profile. So here you have to click on application for eligibility assessment. After clicking on this, you get a page where it is showing, please update your profile before applying assessment for eligibility. So if you have already updated, you have to click on continue. Otherwise, you have to update your profile. So this is your C -pro C profile where all the details are already available. It is given. So you don't have to do anything in this page. So you have to click on next in this page you have to enter your education qualification details from class 10th class 12th if you have done diploma then diploma then btech degree in this you don't have to enter your pre-c course pre-c training from where you have done your eto course because for that a separate page will come so in the education qualification details enter your serial number of the certificate pcm marks for class 12th result percentage name of the institute from where you have done your class 10th class 12th or btech degree and in the main subject in for the class 10th i have written all the subjects like social science science maths hindi english for the class 12th also i have written all the subject name and from the for the btech degree i have entered electrical engineering so whatever branch you have done your engineering you can write the name of the branch in the main subject column then year of passing english marks for class 10th and 12th only required name of the board and university you have to add class 10 12th and engineering separately and in the end you get like this all the three qualification details and then click on the next to enter your pc course details in this page you have to first select your training institute name so once you click on the down arrow option you get the list of the training institute name then you have to enter the course name which will be electro technical officer then start date and end date certificate number result so in result you can write just pass 
then preset our book number it is not required perform my b difference number not required so click on next to go to next page in this you have to enter all the modular courses details like your basic stcl course advanced stcl course if you have done your uh, oil chemical tanker course or gas tanker course or refrigeration course high voltage course whatever course you have done you have to enter this so if you click on the down arrow this icon you get the list of all the courses so enter the training institute name start date end date certificate number date of issue valid up to so add all the course details one by one and in the end it will look something like this so here is the list of all the courses for your reference in which stcw and advanced stcw is the compulsory for everyone to enter click on next to go to the next page so this page is about your c going service in this page enter all the details about your ship from where you have done your pc training so all these ship's details will be given in your sea service testimonial which is signed by the chief engineer from your ship so you can refer those data so this is one of the section where you can get most of your doubts so i am going to explain each part one by one so here is the snap of my sea going service details from where i am going to explain which all parts were to enter few details i have hidden from my ships does not matter so first ships name official number iom number gt flag port of registry ships type trade area this eight details you can easily get from your ship so the area of doubt here comes which is in the rank nature of watch keeping and propelling days how to calculate propelling days so for knowing your rank you have to click on this sea service details in which you can get all the details about your onboard training which is entered by your company after clicking on sea service details you get a page like this where your details are there which is entered by your company so here you can also find your rank so for me it is assistant electrical or electronics officer okay so next point of doubt is nature of watch keeping so i have entered on regular watch on both main engines and boiler simultaneously so different persons enter different uh, category based on what they have written in their sea service testimonial which they got from the ships so it does not matter whatever suits for you you can write i have seen many people writing different different categories and all getting approved so not any so so the next point of doubt is propelling days how to calculate the propelling days so what you have to do is that you have to multiply 0.8 into total number of days you were on board so suppose in my first ship i was on board for 200 days so i have to multiply 200 into 0.8 so that will be 160 so that will be my propelling days after adding on board training details it will look something like this so here one of the doubt which i got which you might also get is that what is this uploading the upload documents so here you don't have to upload any document just leave it like this and just click on next and go to the next page the next page is your post sea training details so for etos there is no post sea training so just click on next and move forward next page will be on board training here also nothing to fill just click on next for rating certificate also click on next nothing to fill in this certificate endorsement here also nothing to fill click on next certificate of competency here also nothing to enter so click on next now comes the authorized documents so here already all your documents will be uploaded here only documents will be left will be your sid card so which you can add it here after that click on go to assessment for eligibility so once you click on this you get a page like this where you have to select the mmd where you are applying so enter the mmd where we are applying so i selected kolkata in the grade i selected electro technical officer and in the stream i have to select completed my 12 months of sea training after 2015 so don't get confused here with the 12 months of sea service it is 8 months only i guess 8 months of on board training and 4 months of pre sea completes 12 months after this click on continue so here i am getting one error in which it is saying pre sea course details is missing in my profile so i have added all the details still it is showing pre sea details meeting so i will update it again here so even after adding all the documents you might get a error that some documents are missing i just did it in front of you i added all the documents still it is showing missing so no problem i will update the profile again i will add the details again so i once again entered all the details correctly after entering details i clicked on the next button after clicking next again i got that my pre sea course certificate is missing from profile so once again i have to do this so after doing multiple times also it was not able to update my pre sea course so i decided to go back and start once again from the home button so i went on that and then i clicked in update my profile my all details were available like education qualification only the pre sea training was missing so i filled this form again and i submit i clicked on submit button 
so now this is also added now i will again go to my home button and click on application for eligibility assessment now my seafarer profile is updated now i have to click on continue assessment for eligibility enter the mmd where you want to apply grade will be electrotechnical officer and stream will be eto after 2015 the sea service of 12 months after clicking on continue here you get a warning you have selected like you just have to confirm all these details and then click on ok click on ok then you will reach the payment page where you have to pay the 3000 rupees as the assessment fees click on i agree and then press submit button so you are reaching the final payment page keep checking and verifying your all the details are correct or not and then click on pay fees online to confirm all the details and the application name is form 15 assessment engineering so this is the name of the application for eligibility assessment nothing to do here just click on pay now click on continue and then proceed for the payment choose any of the method for payment according to your convenience so total payment will be 3035 rupees after adding all the convenience and tax charges click on continue so now when your payment is completed successfully you get a payment details page like this so from here you can also print your acknowledgement page this is also important you have to take the printout of this to mmd when you are going for the document submission take printout of the print application also and then print application form 15 form 15 will not not open once you click on this form 15 it will show error so no need to worry just close that now your payment is done you can return back to the main menu in the main menu page click on the examination again and now you have to click on upload documents for assessment application now in this page you have to click on upload now where you get a list of all the documents which you have to submit so total list of document is 15 so you have to scan each and everything and submit it there i will just uh, very quickly explain all the documents which you have to upload here so the first document is your cdc then your passport and then there are the list of stcw courses here the doubt you can get in your the number five which is a scan copy of proficiency in survival craft so basically you can add your PST personal survival technique course certificate here next is number 11 scan copy of your sea service testimonial so suppose if you have done two ships three ships so all the two three testimonials should be scanned in a single PDF and then uploaded here next one is scan copies companies letter to support claimed sea service so this is a letter you get from your from your company that whatever sea service testimonial you are producing it is correct so you have to get this certificate from your company then a scanned copy of education qualification certificate so in this what you have to do your class 10th class 12th and your diploma or btech whatever you have done all the three certificates should be done in a single pdf and then, then uploaded here then a scanned copy of medical fitness certificate so the medical fitness which you have got it before joining your ships you can add that document here then a scanned copy of your four month pre C ETO course certificate. So from whichever college you have done, you might have got a course certificate. You have to upload here. So you also have to take the printout of all these documents and you have to take the MMD. One more document you have to take on this. Click on application details and then click on print application form 29. This is a nine page document which you have to take the printout and take to MMD when you are going for a document submission so now i am going to give you the list of all the documents which you need to carry so this 15 documents which you can see on the screen this is compulsory for you to take you already have the list in addition to this what other documents which you need to carry is number one online printout of cfrs profile duly updated number four copy of indos number certificate number five fees for eto examination and assessment that is your acknowledgement page then number six copy of education qualification in this you have to carry all the eight semester mark sheet with you then your sid document photocopy and one last document which is also very important that is your tar book which you need to complete everything and submit it to mmd for verification now since you have done all the process like you have updated your profile you have filled an application form for assessment eligibility you have done the payment and you have uploaded all the documents now next thing is to get your documents verified so there are two ways in this in which you can do your documents verification first one is you can directly visit the mmd where you have applied and submit your document for verification second one is send your document through courier to the mmd i would recommend you to visit the mmd directly and submit your documents because this process is very fast my documents were verified within three days which i submitted my documents on monday and on wednesday morning i got the mail that my document is approved and everything is done but if you send your documents through courier it may take one month for the verification to complete for kolkata mmd i went on any random day for my verification but what i have heard for mumbai mmd 
they will provide a particular date for you to go there and submit your application your documents so i'm not sure about this you can also find from your friends if anyone have done their assessment from mumbai what is the procedure after all these things initial all steps are same for all mmd only difference how they process your documents how you have to submit it there that only little difference is there varying from different mmds rest all things are same so that's all from my side in this video if you like the content please like the video share the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel so see you in the next video